Reality, or life as we know it, is constantly changing. But the spectacle has interrupted this process to the point that life has stopped actually being fluid and just looks like it's changing. The world is now all about commodities and not about the actual objects. The spectacle creates a world where all commodities are seen as nothing but fragments of the spectacle, fragments of a false reality. Creating products entails production of the spectacle, which entails removing people from actually experiencing the world. The mode of production, also known as capitalism, reduces the quality of life by creating the spectacle. The superficial world of the spectacle creates can change, but it always remains superficial. The type of economy one lives in largely influences their culture. As trading has grown over the years, the mode of producing commodities has changed from skilled labor to the assembly line in order to produce more products. Trade came to dominate the nature of the economy. The economy became concerned with producing quantity instead of quality. This led to the assembly line. At a certain point, there was enough wealth to satisfy everyone, but that didn't happen. They are not yet liberated. The burden of economic life has just changed from a natural problem to a social, pseudo-natural problem. The world is now dominated by commodities and trade. Since the economy and society is dominated by commodities and trade, every aspect of society is subjected to its force. Historically, people have thought that money is what dominates in society. It wasn't until the mass production for a global market that people started to realize commodities were the real engine of domination. The commodity is the spectacle. The spectacle creates the commodity, and the commodity creates the spectacle. Since the world is now made up of millions of commodities, the spectacle is made up of commodities. While the masses used to be subjected to alienated labor, today, today they are also victims of alienated consumption. In order for the spectacle to exist, society must consume and continue to produce commodities and the spectacle. In order to keep the cycle going, the fragmented commodity must be consumed by the fragmented individual who is cut off from the overall operation of the productive forces. In order to do this, specialists conduct research in order to develop practices to perpetuate this consumer-producer cycle. Since the economy now dominates society completely, the worker as consumer sees the commodity as a symbol of humanity. Both production of life and consumption of life are structured to take life away from members of society. In our economy, we must see the commodity not as some practical object, but as something spectacular, something with human value. In order to survive in the world of the spectacle, one must survive at consuming. Since the spectacle continues to expand, we must never stop consuming if we want to survive. The economy of the spectacle must preserve labor as a commodity. The spectacle cannot let technology reduce society's total necessary labor time because labor is the only creator of commodities. Introduction of money into evaluating of commodities gave commodities the ability to become powerful and spectacular. Money controls commodities. We no longer see their use, but their monetary value and spectacular value. Augmented survival, the survival that is made necessary by the spectacle, living a life based on a false reality. Capitalism today subjects the individual to material hardships and cultural hardships via the spectacle. Use value today is not very important. Today, we only consume the spectacle, not the object, as a practical thing. Today, the use of an object is not self-evident. It is determined by the spectacle and therefore must be declared as a justification for its contribution to the counterfeit life of the spectacle. The spectacle represents the world that we can have. The spectacle is the exchange value of use value. It is abstract value of what really has value. Labor produces the appearances. Capital, while being fundamental to our society, is secondary or at least equally dominating at the spectacle embodied and reproduced by commodities. <clears throat> the society of the spectacle changes society's relationship with the economy from one of fulfilling needs to one that fulfills and creates pseudo-needs. This new economy is autonomous. It cannot be controlled. It keeps on going. The society of the spectacle, the false reality, needs the economy to reproduce it, and the economy needs the spectacle to be reproduced.
In the society of the spectacle, the worker does not create the product. The product creates itself and the worker.